hey what's going on guys welcome to the fifth video of the series on getting started with reloadly i am junaid maksud and let's jump right into it so before we get into the current video let's recap previously we talked about countries and operators that are supported by the reloadly platform then we look deeply into the dashboard that comes loaded with all tools and statistics we can use we also looked into adding funds to our account this was all necessary as a preliminary step to this video now we will look at the most important endpoint of the reloadly platform the top up we're gonna make a post request and actually process our top up in real time it's very crucial to be familiar with what we have covered already so i would highly recommend going through the video in the series before this one and getting yourself up to date on where we are at a lot in this video will be leading from what we have covered before as we have already developed this application we are going to be extending to it all code is available on our official github repository for you to use and test accordingly as our goal for this video is the top up endpoint let's quickly look at the documentation so this endpoint requires a certain data to be sent alongside so we need to have the operator ID as it's required. We also need the amount that we want to process as top up. We also need the recipient phone. This is an object. So we need the country code and the number. And obviously we need authorization. So we've already covered how to get the country code from the API as well as how to get the operator ID for a given phone number. So let's quickly jump into our application and figure out how we're gonna do this. So in our main page, we already have the user selecting its country and entering the phone number in order to determine the operator ID. So what we're going to do is once we have the operator ID, we are going to show a new field after this form for user to enter the amount and then a new button to process the top up. Obviously, there are many ways to do this and you're going to have some proper authentication. This is just to get you guys started. So let's go ahead and create a new form. So we need an input field for the phone number, the amount, the country ISO and the operator ID. We already have everything except the amount. Let's simply create hidden fields for this. Now let's create an input field for the amount. We'll simply copy this. So instead of having a submit button here, let's change this to search and this one to send top up. So it's more appropriate. Let's refresh and see where we are at. Simply remove these. Great. So you have a separate form for the top up. So if I would just make a quick search on a sample number. So we have the operator ID, we have the country ISO and the phone number. Once the user clicks it, we're going to show this form and populate the values. So let's just do that. Let's hide this one. Uh, let's just give it a method of post. Action will simply send it to endpoints send top up dot php. We'll make this file in a moment. Let's go back. So once we have made the form visible, we want to add in the phone number, country code and operator ID. Let's just do that. So top up form, input field where name is phone number. Value phone, which we already have in a variable here. We will do the same for the country code. Country code country and the operator id 
let's just reverse these when something goes wrong good let's test that and if we go in inspect we can see that we have the phone number we have the country code we have the operator id awesome now one thing that happens with the operators so when it comes to reloadly platform there are two type of operators one that support a range of amount so basically anything between the minimum and the maximum value you can send and the others are the one that support fixed amount so the platform will give you a set of amounts and those are the only one that are supported by those let me show you what i mean so if we head back to the documentation for operators and check out the response we see that for each operator we are getting a denomination type so when it's range it means that this operator supports anything between the minimum amount and the maximum amount the other denomination type is the fixed when the platform returns a fixed type operator we are going to have this array populated with values that are supported so what i want to do is when we have the operator we are going to change the label and say okay this operator supports range anything between the minimum and the maximum value and we're actually going to show the values there and if it's a fixed operator we will simply show all the values so let's do that so if operator nomination type is range we're gonna get the label for amount and change its html to range supported minimum operator dot minimum amount maximum operator dot maximum amount if it's not range we are going to say fixed amounts supported and then simply show in all the fixed amounts and if this fails we're gonna simply reset the text which is amount so let's try that great so this operator natcom supports range between 0 0.45 and 45 so basically this range is already converted in your accounts base currency you can basically send 0 0.45 right here it will be automatically converted into whatever the recipient's currency is so let's try a different operator which supports fixed values only let's search for a different number there we go so this operator supports fixed amounts and it's simply printed all the supported values now what we need to do is once we've selected the operator we have added the amount we're simply gonna send the top up which is gonna send a post request to our send top up php endpoint so let's simply make that and one thing i also want to do is change the type of our text field so instead of text let's have it number and have a step of 0.01 so let's head back to our endpoints and create a copy of get token we'll call it send top up let's get rid of this now let's change the endpoint this needs authentication so let's just bring in the headers for that now we need the token so let's simply include our token file there we go so instead of saving this to a variable i'm simply gonna print the result okay so first of all we're gonna send in the recipient phone this is an object that needs country code which we are getting in post and we also need to give it a number the sender phone is optional so we're gonna skip it for now let's give it operator id and the amount let's simply refresh the page and see what happens missing required field amount did we not send the amount ah so name amount let's go back 
refresh this page now this should fail so let's see if it actually fails or not okay good so it's telling me that the amount is invalid the minimum for the operator is 0.45 which is exactly what we're seeing here so let's actually process a top up on this test number so there we go we have successfully sent our first top up using the api and the reloadly platform see how easy it was to actually get started we can actually go into the dashboard in reports and airtime transaction and actually see this transaction that we have made so we've covered a major endpoint in this video if anything confuses you i would highly suggest following along the tutorial and the attached code base and building the tutorial app yourself giving it a go will help speed up the knowledge process the integration options are endless and we will cover these in detail in the upcoming series in the next video we're going to talk about commissions and how they work stay tuned to the series don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel we will be making multiple project videos soon where we will portray different projects and scenarios that you can use the reloadly platform so stay tuned See you in the next one.